Love you too. This is Bob for Trade Company. Guys, to now, man. Hope you guys have a nice day on the market. Well, we did have a nice day on the market. If you were on the right side of the trend, of course. Again, I want to say one more time: don't go against the trend, guys. You guys don't want to try to find the bottom of something that is a clearly falling night. Right? The market is being switching up trends so quick that if you go long or you go against it, then you're gonna get burned. Right? So this, yeah, today is when. All the market, I will say all the market because every almost every sector of the market we went, went road to them. Everybody was red, right? Blood in the streets. Uh so it is not much really today. Definitely wanna tap on those levels. I'm gonna, you know, get into those critical levels what we can expect tomorrow. And especially because we have power tomorrow. So I did tell you guys yesterday that we were gonna expect a choppy day, right? Or a day that you don't wanna you don't want you didn't wanna travel too much because Today, we have some reports in the morning, right? And then we have, like, like I said, the pro. The people is expecting what Powell is going to say. I, I know a lot of people is, you know, expecting him to be hawkish. So there is fear in the market, right? When there is fear, and when there is doubt on the market, then you, you're you going to see this. You're going to see this huge drops, these huge flushes, right? Not even NVIDIA that, you know, that had this amazing ER, cool uh, carry the market, right? For most part of the day, NVIDIA was actually green. It was pretty much actually the only stock that was green, right? But uh, most of the stock went absolutely just phase to the air core. So I'm going to really go quick over there. And of course, I'm going to remind you guys, you know, a couple of swings that we have. And that I've been adding the dip. So I've been loading. I've been buying this stock because it is has a good setup. It has good ratings, right? It has, you know, decent DD. You know, it's expecting, you know, has catalyst coming. It's just the market is pretty much beating up every single stock that is being performing okay. But we do understand that, you know, this is why swing trades are good because we can follow a plan and, you know, buy the dips, you know, accumulate and, you know, let things play out. So really quick uh, on what we have for tomorrow, I'm just going to go to the calendar. So we have... Jeremy Powell is going to be here tomorrow speaking at 10 or 5 a.m. Eastern time, right? So he's pretty much going to speak more about, you know, the mostly important part of the day, which is the morning. Uh, now, we, we, we're we going to see the pre and the post move. I believe that because, you know, the market went absolutely right today, I believe that we most likely we're going to gap down tomorrow, right? The fear is absolutely crazy. So because, you know, said that, I believe that tomorrow we're going to gap down and they probably where we you know get close to his speech we might have a pop you know maybe trying to fill the gap that gap down that i'm assuming is happening right I, mean, I, I don't know what's gonna happen i'm just assuming this is just my vision of what might happen tomorrow right? you know we have this gap down right and then we probably you know we have this pop pre the speech and then because we are you know we already know the market is expecting that you know the the, the high credits are going to increase so we already know this right and maybe we're probably going to have like a sell-off towards the end of the day that's my vision i know things can you know switch out things can be different maybe powell comes you know with a better you know perspective with you know, you know has uh you choose the better words right that maybe the market like it and then you know we probably can reverse but we don't know so regardless what it happens you guys need to not to trade right at all tomorrow if you're not sure that you can handle this volatility if you already made some money during the week, and this is what I told you guys on Sunday, right? That Monday to Wednesday, that was where the days that you guys should have been, you know, making some money, you know, playing it out, right? Sizing it a little bit. But the moment that it hit Thursday and Friday, you guys needed to, you know, size down and let the market play out, right? And then do this thing. Go trade it small, but don't, you know, over leverage yourself tomorrow. So SPY. Let me tell you SPY. And let me go pretty quick to the SPY. Absolutely banger, and I hope you guys bang with me on this one today. It was absolutely straight down to the record. So, you know, we see yesterday we had this nice uptrend, this recovery, especially with the earnings. We had this pop, most of the large caps pop, right? Creating this gap up on spot, which easily, and it was the same scenario when NVIDIA pop on Tuesday, I believe, there was profit taking you know, at our opening. So I can expect that because 
and it's just in my eyes, you know, the fact that we had we with the fact that we had power on the Friday, I just didn't see a way. Why will the market will continue to rally? Right? Market pretty much rallying expectations of you know pretty much crazy in the earnings, which we had, and this is why we got up. But now that that was done, what else is gonna come? Well, based on my logic, we had this crazy move down today, right? The sell-off, you know, sell-off was panic selling, it's not a good combination. So first trade that we did, of course, the one I shared in the morning, right? <clears throat> Based on my levels, once we broke the 20 May, where we bought at 444, we rode to support. Once we, uh, you know, took some profits there, and once it bounced, right? Once we saw that, when we re-entered on the trade around, again, 443, the moment it broke again, the 20 May, right? So we get to, we trade this part, and then we second trade the second drop, which was the most profitable trade that we have, right? 444 and then we probably I sold around 440 pretty much so it was a decent trade you know close to 300 400 percent um it's just simply about the trend guys you know you have to look and then apply what I've been teaching you guys the moment it trades below the 20 May as long as that doesn't break you can write it down man you gotta understand how to read price action you have to how to identify what's happening you need to understand your environment, you don't do that, then that's going to cost you a lot of money. Even though these days, man, I'm still seeing people that are trying to buy calls go along on these jobs because they're expecting bounces that might not happen, you know? And and, and it, just, it just, I feel bad because like I said, I, I do my best to help out, you know, people. I do my best to remind everybody, but I just, you know, it, I think that I'm not able to help everybody at some point, but, you know, I, I guess those who listen you know, really trying to, you know, get something from this and then become better traders. That's really my goal. So I'm just doing my best here. But anyways, I hope you guys have bank today on this. Now, what are we expecting tomorrow? Spy pretty much pull back to this important support that we have pretty much already retested and bounce from it. So 435.73 is a support that we're going to watch tomorrow. If it breaks, I believe that, you know, Tesla, sorry, SPY can pull back towards the 428.91 support, right? So we have a decent drop here. Now, we might have a small stop at 433, which is that was the previous lows. And then if we break that, we're going to move forward to the 428, right? Now, what I'm thinking is because we already have some selling pressure building up on my major uh, time frames. And again, the, the fear is too much. Right now, everything can change tomorrow, guys. So please take this with a grain of salt. Right, we still need to do our job tomorrow morning. You know, reassess pre market and reassess, uh, you know, assess what's happening on the first 30 minutes of the market. And of course, I will honestly will wait after the Pebble is done and see how the market reacts to that to really take a trade and you know, make a decision on what I'm gonna, you know, play for the day. Right, so Tesla absolutely nice bound we see we had this double top right here forming on the four hour chart right and i tell you guys every time that we click close to the 200 may always always expect some sort of rejection right if we have positive market like i would say like if we have a positive market and positive momentum i would say there is a chance that we can break through but we know that's not true we do, we know that the market has been down trending for the past couple of weeks so it was most likely that we're going to face the rejection for the 200 May, right? We had that on pre-market. And intraday, it was the same concept that it did with uh, with SPY. You know, it's pretty clear where we Tesla was going to head, right? And of course, I did share this with the community. We banked this, you know, once we got that close below BWAP on the 20 May rate, right? from 235, 230, sorry, 236, man, this thing was pay by itself from 236 to 228 right since there's another point it started hanging around and uh you know building some sort of support and it had a double bottom and then bounce and most of the day pretty much you know trading that range had a little pop towards 234 but that was it right so it did it did have like a decent job but let's look for tomorrow I believe just because the fact that we closed below the 20 MA on the flower chart, for me, that is not good. 
right? I believe that tomorrow we actually, we break through this 227, 226, 227 area. I think that this can easily go retest those 212 supports, right? Which is a 214.42 support, but I believe that it easily can just, you know, just break these levels like butter, right? So keep an eye on them until the most crazy. And then if you catch those drops, those are easy, 200%, 300%, depending on your entry, of course. But if you're applying all that you're learning in our teachings, you know, here how to use the EMAs, you are still be banking on this class, right? And especially with the recaps and everything that we're doing here, she'll be helping you, right? Now, NVIDIA, I mean, this thing had popped over $500, right? It, it, will, it will have been lovely to see this, uh, you know, keep going up. And really, I think if we were in another market, another type of market, right, that, you know, things look a little better, we will probably... We will probably will have seen, you know, NVIDIA easily, you know, keep rallying 540s, 550s, 560s, right? But that's not the case. You know, we had this uh red market. So that was easy short. You know, just if you correlate what's happening out there, you know, short NVIDIA was one of these things to do today as well, right? Pretty much opening 500s. And then at 460, is like a $30, $40 drop, right? Depending on your entry. You know, these things are the ones that pay the most, but you have to be able to catch them, right? Play level by level. The only way I think, you know, the one, the best interest here, it should have been like 493s, you know, once we close below the 20 min and right is way to 474. Man, that was an absolute killer right there. Now, a couple, of, a couple of days on, you know, we're swings, you know, bile, like I said, this is just patience, you know, we're tapping support. You know, with time, every time that we get close to it, we have this, we have this small pop. But again, price action is not helping. The market is not helping, right? Now, I did tell you guys, I do have my own risk. And of course, I'm willing to keep adding some dips as long as we don't go, we don't go below $4. But that's my plan. You know, you, don't, you guys don't have to just make me what I do. You know, you, everybody has different risk management. Everybody has different portfolios. And of course, you know, we all want to make some money. But please, guys, don't ignore your stop losses. Don't ignore your risk management, right? I, I would love to see a positive PR on, you know, Bile and just break this six letter and then we can go to, you know, we can start climbing up. But we need that. We need that. We need that positive news. We need we need some, uh, you know, positive move, you know, with some green days. We need that. But we don't have that. We, we haven't seen that for a while now. So let's see how this plays out, right? Here's, I did mention this one yesterday, and I hope you guys, if you were playing this, if you were looking at this, today we got pay on this. You know, pre-market already popped the 52, you know, gap up. We filled that gap, that gap up on pre-market, and then after open, it started trending up, you know, causing about the 20, we run from 447 cents to 52 cents, right? We took profits there, and then now it's go, it went back to 38 cents. And this is a big lesson for you guys. You know, you guys need to take profits. If you guys don't take profit, then you guys can be caught holding a big bag. And we don't want that, right? So that's that. NBOS, that was another one that I did mention to you guys. And I notice every time that NBOS, you know, retest, or at least is being retested in these 18 cents, tends to have this nice pop. Today, we trade this one. You know, we buy like around 19 and of course, you know, we moved towards 23. We took some profits there. And you can see the pullback happening, right? So this is what I always tell you guys. Don't marry stocks for reasons. You know, they're always going to be the next one. There's always going to be a next day. There's always going to be a next stock. You know, you don't have to marry stock for like for months. No, you all don't have a plan. If it's not a solid company, then you don't have to do that. You know, most of you guys are day traders. And you need to understand the concept of a day trader. You are day trading. You are Buying and selling the same day, so you cannot marry stock just because you think it's gonna keep going up. But that's gonna that's not, that ain't gonna you know you're gonna finish good and your know, results are gonna be very negative for you, right? Now to end the video really quick, F U L C man, I bought the dip today it was absolutely killer. I bought like around five thirties, right? Taking opportunity of this dip, right? This is a solid solid. This actually has some solid things going on, right? Four hour chart, you know, trend still inside. You know, we just had a little bounce. We do have some sudden pressure here because again, market is being red. So I'm not surprised. Daily chart, what I really like about this is the fact that we're still above the 200 May. 
right? We, we already have this huge pullback, which I'm not surprised. I'm okay with it. And even though I'm still, you know, willing to add dips towards the $5 range. So also I want to mention that, you know, not only this, institutions gave in a few price ranges. You know, we have this couple is three, actually the ones that actually from A2022, I'm sorry, A22 and A23, right? We had 11 PT, 16 dollar PT, 14 dollar PT now. Right, and this is why I tell you guys a lot of setup, a lot of setup, but of course you know market is not helping out, so that's fine. It just makes a little a lot of our swing trade longer, but it should work eventually. It should you know give you some time, guys, to buy cheap shares. Honestly, for me, I'm at least holding for sevens, eights. Right, you know, want to see that breakout, and want to see that start feeling like up. Might take some time. I take a couple weeks, maybe a month, but. I will be here keeping an eye and an update and updating you guys, right? So again, the only thing I want to tell you, and also you want to top really quick on AMC today. It made a reverse split, and I've seen some people for X Y reasons still being holding AMC. And let me tell you guys, if you are one of them guys, you better say what you can because AMC is done, like it's done for real good, right? Like I told you guys, I did read the filings. They are on the really on the precipice of. Filling for bankruptcy. They did this reverse split because I believe they took Ape shares, they converted to MC shares. So the illusion is there. Market was red. You know, this drop from 16s to 13 was the easiest thing ever in the world because we knew this. Like we knew the market was red. It's a meme stock. Things are not going great. Why will it gonna go up? It's just pointless. Right. So that was a good short if you play that. But I think that in you know MC will go back down to a you know single digits it's just matter of time right but regardless i hope you guys have a nice day guys i hope you guys be ready for tomorrow it's gonna be very interesting so let's get the week you know finish it strong remember don't over leverage yourself we're gonna have more things coming the next week so then it's no reason to you know give away those profits all right guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys we have more updates more videos more swings of course i'm letting the market cool down and then I want to start dropping more plays. But I, like I said, I'm just doing the best that I can to, you know, just drop you some bangers, I guess. Don't forget to check the link in the description as well. If you want to sign up to offer community, that's where I have my trades 24 7 and my guidance, power guidance. All right, guys. And I hope to guys see you tomorrow. Let's crush it. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. See you guys later. What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trader coming out of US today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals, that's not the trader you guys are looking for. You need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.